Hi, my name is Jen. I am a digital artist and the face behind Gold Eevee here on the internet. Today, I just wanted to draw some cute little dresses. They are going to be inspired by the wedding guest dresses that I um, am going to be trying on for my friend's wedding. I want to take you through how I make illustrations. That'll definitely be in a voiceover because I get very distracted. This is dress number one. It has a lovely floral pattern, but it was a little too revealing. Dress number two, pretty in pink, and I still can't get used to myself on camera, so I'm a little bit shy, but I'm way more comfortable in the pink dress than I am in the floral purple. For my sketch, I started off with a very light 6B pencil to get the feeling of traditional art brushstrokes and it helps me loosen up as I'm trying to get more movement and feeling in my illustration. I saw a lot of artists do outfit of the day videos and they would draw out their outfits and post the results like Saren on Instagram and Sarah Fables also on Instagram and their outfits were absolutely adorable so they inspired me to make my own for the coloring portion of this sketch I was using a hard round brush on a full opacity for a majority of this and the only time I would deviate from it would be using a soft round brush for subtle shading. For my skin color I tried to highlight my the reddish undertones that would be contrasting more on the white background and I love painting the face. Uh, doing the shading for that is one of my favorite things to do. I was really highlighting all the reds and darker shadows that are usually in the face. When I don't need to get precise lines on the page, I go in with the flat brush and I pencil in shapes rather than individual lines so I can get the form down better than having to worry about my individual brush strokes. And with the face, I think I was just under pressure because this is my first video and it really got to me that I needed to get this done in a certain amount of time. So I tried not to cut too many corners. Usually when I'm drawing, I save the face for last, but this time, since I just went through the sketch phase of redefining the face, I did it towards the middle of my process, just so that I got the deal, the details just right before I moved on to the final details of the piece, which are the a tiny floral pattern that was on the first dress that I chose. I think I've developed a little bit of a persona online 
I knew the purple dress with its really small, delicate floral pattern would be perfect for drawing. But it's not something that I will be wearing at the wedding. It's a little bit too revealing for me. And I just spent time quickly going over all of the leaves here and making sure that everything is lining up. I don't put too much detail into the floral pattern just because um, there are a lot of flowers on the dress to begin with and this is supposed to be a simple sketch. So at the very end of it, I am just going through, adding a little bit of shading here or there to show some emphasis in the dress itself. I don't add too many fun um, details in my work very often, so I added on these pink little flowers just to have some fun. And I'm just going in, putting on the final details, making sure that all the edges are smooth for the dress in case I missed something. Since it is an outfit of the day, I just uh, grabbed a quick mirror selfie. And no drawing would be complete without some color dodge, as Ross Draws would say, and I'm addicted to putting color dodge on things now. Um, one of my favorite parts of doing illustrations is messing with the colors. Uh, I change it from a pink to a red to a yellow a little bit. And then I think I ultimately decided on doing a light, light pink. And the hair is probably my favorite part. is the end of this illustration. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you come back for my next video.